Hi, this is Daniel. In today's video, we will learn how you can add custom numbers or counters into our WordPress website. So let's get started. Let me give you an example how the counters will look like. So let's just move on to our another website. If I'll just scroll down a little bit. So here we can see that the 30 clients, 50 plus websites, 100 plus campaigns, 1000 plus designs. So these are appearing in, in terms of counters. So if I'll just refresh this again, it will start to count. So we want to create that. So let's just close this and the first step we'll do is we will log in into our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to pages. Here we'll search for our home page. Here it is. So let's just add it this with Elementor. This is the way we can go to our home page or we can just go from here too. So if I just click over there, this will also take me to the same place. So let's see if that's open or not. Yep, this is open. So for now, we'll just cross this. And if I just uh, scroll down a little bit, here I can see my website showing up. The whole website is built on Elementor plugin. So now let's figure out where we want the counters to be placed. So I think above 12, top 12 clicks would be better to place the counters. So if I'll just, I'll click on the plus icon. Again, I want four counters. So I'll just select the structure as four. And now here in the Elementor, search widget area i'll search for a counter here's a counter i'll just drag and drop this over here and let's just add it this and we we'll, we can just drag and drop into every other column so let's just do that first Again, we can search for counter and drag and drop this, or we can just copy and paste this over here. So yeah, that's that's good. So now to add these counters, I'll just click on the added pencil button. Here I can see starting number zero, ending number hundred. So first of all, considering our e-commerce website. What we can just write here is happy customers. So we have around thousand plus happy customers. So we just set this to like that. And for this one, I'll name it as cities. Or we can just read shipping, shipping countries, currently we are shipping in 5 plus countries, so I'll just make this 5, the ending number will be 5, no I'm editing that one, shipping countries, I'll just make this 5, great. Now, what we can add over here is 
we have like uh, products okay so we have around thousand plus products or or just around we have 800 products up to now so i'll just make this 800 man for the last one we can just set this as categories or yeah categories would be good categories so yeah that's good categories we have around uh, 10 plus so now if i'll just uh, look at it it is showing me around thousand and this is simple five now i want to add a prefix to it or a suffix to it so let's just add a plus icon over here so that it shows like uh, 5 plus 10 plus 1000 plus so for this also I'll just add a plus icon over here also I'll do the same for this in the suffix column we have to add a plus icon to show the plus icon on the home page so this looks good but i think i should change the color of this according to the website theme so i'll go to style text color i'll make this as red i think red would be good uh, also i think i should decrease the size of this i think so let's just make this as 35 35 would be good enough okay 35 no 35 would be a little bit smaller so let's just make this 40 yeah 40 is good oh, we'll do the same for these also let's just select the color okay great I'll uh, make that 40. That's great. Same for this. Also, we can just copy and paste the icons and then again change the names of this and the numbers of this. So, both are fair enough. It's up to you. So, let's clean 40. And for that also, I'm just selecting selecting the colors according to what I think would be great. So please don't mind. Okay, for fair enough. So now, if I'll just look at it, uh, the black looks a little bit good. So adding a black background would be more good i think so so let's just make this a little bit more beautiful i'll go i just click on the six buttons over here add a section column and in the background i'll select the color as black yeah this is good for this i will just stretch this section to make this wide okay and i also want to add a little bit of padding so i'll just add padding over here a little bit padding in the bottom too now i'll just change the color of this the text has been removed or it is it was black so let's just change the text no, here in the title we are added. Okay, great. It's not showing up. Let's just add the title. Sometimes the animal plugin is not responsive. So I'll just change the color of these. It's black. 
or let's just change this to white which are white okay and we want to this also so we have changed the color of this I'll make this white too so let's see if that shows up would be great it's currently not showing but if I'll just go to my home page probably it will show up so let's just update this and go back to our website require refresh it we can see the counters we have added so this this kind of look good the website so yeah that's enough it from the video till then take care and keep watching dtech tv